How to add an identification to a single specimen record in Arctos. First thing is to select the specimen that you want to update. So I'm going to go down and select Museum of Vertebrate Zoology Bird Specimens and enter the museum catalog number 191971. Search. And then I'm going to click on the specimen record. And here you'll see a bunch of tabs that allow you to edit different parts of the specimen record. Again, you have to be logged in with certain permissions in order to do this. So I'm going to click on identification. And here's the current identification, which is accepted. I'm going to add a new determination. So the determination, I'm going to change the subspecies or add a, a subspecies. So Oriparus. So I'm going to put in the scientific name of the species, hit the tab. This gives you all of the different options. I'm going to select this one um, as the subspecies. I'm going to put my name as the identifier. So type in my last name, hit the tab. That allows you to select. Um, you can't type in the agent name. You have to select it from the agent table. So I'm going to select my name. I'm going to select from the calendar today's date. The nature of ID is going to be geographic distribution based on the um, <clears throat> location of the specimen, the, the, where it was collected. Um, this is a subspecies ID, but you can also choose other things like features um, or molecular, things like that. So I'm going to choose geographic distribution. I'm going to choose pretty high confidence. And then I'm going to hit create. And that makes the um, new identification, the currently accepted identification, and the old one, the unaccepted identification. So if you click out of this and you reload your page, um, here it is where you see the new identification. And that's how you add a new identification to a single specimen record in Arctos. This was presented by Carla Cicero of the Museum of Vertebrate Zoology, University of California, Berkeley.